שלום חברים, and welcome to רגע בעברית, שורשים אדישן, I'm Rabbi Shapira. So delighted to have you here with me. Every week we are going to the final book, the book of דברים, the final account of משה רבנו. In this week parasha, parashat ki titze, we read this very important passage that you're very familiar with. Ki titze למלחמה על אויביך. As you go out to war upon your enemies. There is a very interesting uh, midrash that is giving us about the one who is going to war. It says that the sages explained that there are four different kings that went out to war. David, who was going to war and he himself was fighting the war. King Asa, who was going to war, but he didn't fight. In essence, he went out to war, but he didn't fight the war. Yehoshaphat, who did not leave to war, but in his stead he was singing song to God, staying behind. And Hezekiah, who was simply sitting back. The fourth type of leaderships are hinted in this verse. Ki titze lemilchama al oivecha. What kind of leaders should we be? You see, in the parasha last week, we see the conclusion with the word ki taase hayashar b'ene Adonai. You are to do the things that are straight in the eyes of the Lord before you go to war. There is a warning for us here that even if we are to go to war, especially spiritual war, we must make sure that we first and foremost kita se hayashar, meaning we are straight as an arrow with Hashem before going out. This is, friends, is important. Now, coming back to those four leaders, we see a remiss for all of them in the parasha because the question that we have to ask ourselves, what kind of leaders we should be when we go on out to spiritual war. Let's, so let's see it and explain it. It says, Ki tase hayashar b'nei Adonai. If you take the Hebrew word hayashar and you flip it, you get the word shira, song. This is a remez to Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat type of battle. Now, if you look at the word ki tetze milchama. Notice the word tetze is a singular. It's a remes also to the leadership of Asa, who was going alone by himself to the war. So we see in this verse, mentioning both King Jehoshaphat and we see King Asa. And also, if you take the word ki tetze and lemilchama al, and you take this acronym tetze, למלחמה על, and you take the end letters uh, from this expression, תצא, go out, למלחמה, to war, על, you get A, א', and למד, it spelled the word oil, oil is a clue to the type of leadership that Hezekiah had, he sat back in the tent, so you see in this verse Chazal understood that both Hezekiah is prophesied about Asa is, is prophesied on, and also Yoshafat is also prophesied on. But look what the end of the verse says. Why is it now speak about plural? Because it's speaking about all the kings of God, that he will go and fight for them. This is a picture of Mashiach ben David, who went and kicked David, and ultimately Mashiach ben David, who go and fight himself for the word. Meaning that King David went and fought the war himself. What is the upshot for all of us today? It's a remiss of David and Melech, that you and I to be like David and Melech. We 
no matter what is our position, we are to fight the war ourselves. We are not just to sit back. We are not just to sing song. Uh, you know, we are not to be like, the, we are to be like David and go and fight the war yourself. So how do we do it? It's very simple. The answer is, Get yourself ready. Chazal explained that when Israel go to war, they must you need to understand the word Hayashah. What's the word Hayashah? Gimatria is the word Tfila. Is the word Tfila? We have to make sure that we are straight, straight with God before taking all those spiritual battles. My prayer for all of us, that that's exactly what we will do right now. We will not sit back, we will not stay in the tent, we will not just sing song and say we pray, but we will go forward and fight this spiritual war. So we do need all of those things in essence. We're not new, we do need to sing songs. Yeah, we, we do need to pray such and we need to do all of those things. But the chief thing that we must do is make sure that all of our duck in a row so that we are ready to go to this great spiritual battle. This friend is a for Shabbat Kittitzeh.